begin with breaking news surrounding a heart-wrenching story. A mother has confessed to killing her two children and stuffing their bodies in a freezer. Police found the bodies today after they'd been stashed there for over a year. We're going to go to 7 Action News reporter Jeff Vaughn, who's live now with more. Jeff. Yeah, a lot of people are asking questions, especially how long have those children been in that freezer that was found earlier today, just not too far from downtown Detroit on the city's east side. Well, sources tell me one child has been in that freezer for two years, the other for more than a year. Tonight we're finding out that the bodies of those children, they had signs of torture as they are being thawed out at the medical examiner's office right now. We've been keeping track, uh, rather, how how were the children kept track related to that? We understand that they were, or how come there wasn't anybody that alerted to them uh, related to the school? Well, we're told that the mother did homeschool them. I understand we have some more information to pass along to you now. All new tonight, balloons fly at the home of a mother and her four children. A banner on the door serving as a place for neighbors to leave their sympathies. But beyond the door, a horror nobody can imagine. Two children found dead in a freezer. Residents of the Martin Luther King Apartments off St. Aubin tell Action News the frozen boy, age 11, named Stephen, and his sister, Stoney, age 14, were found after a bailiff served an eviction notice at apartment 804. It's been a while since you've seen him? Yeah. Did that raise any concern with you? No. Since she kept him in the house all the time, we just thought, like, Oh, they're just in the house chilling and yeah, together. That's where they be, or they just at the store or at their auntie's or grandma's. At their auntie's house is what police sources say the mother may have used as an excuse as to where the dead children were when neighborhood kids asked to play. Sources also telling Action News the mother identified as Michelle Angela Blair, called Angel by her friends, has confessed to killing her children and then placing them in her freezer. The boy in May 2012 and the girl nine months later. The motive? The sources say the two children were sexually abusing the youngest boy of the four. A woman we talked to today knew of the family abuse. I'm like, Angel, why wouldn't you just give the kids to me? She like, um, Tori, I'm like, why you just didn't give them to me? We could have figured out something. She like, um, they was raping my son. They was raping my son. But there's more shocking details to this story. Police sources close to the investigation say the bodies, which are now thawing out at the medical examiner's office, are showing signs of torture. And those surviving siblings, a 17-year-old girl and 11-year-old boy, that 11-year-old boy is believed to be the victim of sexual abuse. They are now in protective custody. Live in Detroit, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News. Wow, Jeff, that is a tough one to cover tonight. Thank you for the update.